SpaceX's groundbreaking new technology solves decades of headache. On the 20th of April 2023, the gigantic Starship rocket took off from Texas for its first ever orbital flight. But 3 minutes 59 seconds into the journey, the rocket went up in flames, leaving behind tons of debris, a badly damaged launch pad, and two significant problems. Building a viable Starship rocket that can actually fly into space, and perhaps more importantly, designing a launch pad that can handle the heat of 33 Raptors engines and successfully launch this new spacecraft. In today's video, we'll reveal how Elon Musk and Spaced are looking to solve this daunting task. When plans for Starship's first orbital launch were first announced, space enthusiasts across the world celebrated like they've just won the lottery, and you really cannot blame them. During its development, Elon Musk and other inside sources from SpaceX told us about the many outstanding things that the Starship will do when it launches. And when the Starship lifted up on Thursday the 20th of April 2023, the crowd of excited spectators cheered in hopes that the rocket would at the very least ascend into the orbit. But their expectations were cut short when the spacecraft imploded about 100 kilometers away from the internationally recognized boundary of space. Beyond the destroyed rocket, SpaceX has a new problem on its hands to deal with. As the Starship rocket powered its way into the skies, it unleashed over 6,000 metric tons of force on the ground beneath it, ultimately destroying the launch pad and sending tons of debris into the ocean and its environs. In fact, the impact of this eerie incident affected a nearby car park and filled the entire atmosphere with a huge cloud of dust. All of this was because of a significant error on the part of SpaceX. While developing the Starship rocket, SpaceX seemed to have taken care of everything else except for an appropriate heat absorption system to contain the enormous heat and sound energy generated by the spacecraft. Ideally, a rocket launch site is expected to have large concrete trenches and a system or special mechanism to redirect energy away from the pad and the spacecraft itself. As you can see on your screen, this was a SpaceX shuttle vehicle in 2009, sitting atop a flame trench, and it's hard to tell why SpaceX has not adopted the same design when building its own launch pad. Eric Roach, an expert in environmental impact, believes the decision to ignore this design could be down to the rigorous process involved in getting the necessary approval for it. For instance, in a situation where SpaceX decides to use the same flame trench as the space shuttle, the company will need to get the approval of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and that's a process that could take months. In fact, it turns out that SpaceX had actually applied for this permit, but was forced to withdraw its application after officials at the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers failed to consider alternative sites for the Starship rocket, like the launch facilities at Cape Canaveral. Also. Beyond this approval dispute, building a flame diverter or a former trench is not child's play. Anyone with a good background in engineering will know this, but even if you're not an engineer, you can imagine how much thinking would need to go into designing a flame diversion system that can handle the heat discharge of 33 Raptor engines. It's a daunting project that only the best engineers can build, and even at that, you'll need the right conditions in place. However, SpaceX doesn't seem to have the luxury of the right conditions. According to reports, the water table at the company's Starbase launch facility in Texas is too close to the surface, which makes it difficult for engineers to dig up an area that would be sufficient to hold a flame diverter and a former trench. In other words, SpaceX might need to come up with other solutions. And honestly, there are quite a number of alternative solutions the aerospace company can adopt. Instead of excavating the ground to build a flame trench or a flame diverter, the company could decide to erect the structure above the ground. But while this option sounds viable, we imagine that the cost around it would be enormous, especially because SpaceX might need to rebuild the launch tower and other systems as well. Alternatively, the company could ditch the idea of a flame trench or a flame diverter and opt for something entirely different, perhaps something the world isn't familiar with already. And from the look of things, it seems that's exactly what SpaceX is looking to do. In a tweet published earlier this year, Elon Musk announced that SpaceX is in the process of building a gigantic water-cooled steel plate under the launch mounts. Engineers speculated that this iconic structure, named the Water Deluge System, could produce up to 350,000 gallons of water, which should be just enough to curtail the heat generated by the Starship. 
Unfortunately, the system wasn't ready in time for the proposed Starship's first orbital launch. However, engineers gave the green light for the mission to take place anyway, thinking that the high-strength concrete below the launch pad was sturdy enough to handle the force of the rocket. Their optimism was further strengthened by a ground-based test which suggested that the launch pad was strong enough to withstand the force of the most powerful rocket in the world. But it turns out they were wrong. Perhaps somebody on the engineering team had misjudged the power of the 33 Raptor rocket engines, or maybe they had overestimated the strength of the launch pads. In any case, their analysis of the situation was wrong, and they got to find out in the worst possible way. As the increased Starship rocket slowly ascended, it left behind a conspicuous crater, even as massive dust fumes engulfed the whole area. Thankfully, at this time, the destruction of the launch pad didn't exactly affect the entire mission. The Starship continued its ascent, and was only ordered to self-destruct after it lost control. But it could have been worse. For instance, any of the debris flying around could have struck the Starship and potentially compromised the mission. Launch and landing pads are touchy. Any little thing that goes wrong can cause a zipper effect that creates a giant problem. Phil Metzger, a planetary scientist at the University of Central Florida and a seasoned expert on the ground effects of rocket launches and landings, said on Twitter, That's because you're trying to safely dispose of enough super high energy gas to shoot a rocket into the sky. Like many other experts in the industry, Dr. Phil Metzger has thrown his weight behind the concept of spaced building a water-cooled steel plate. From his team's analysis of the Morpheus launch site, Dr. Phil believes that the heat generated by the design of this plate will redistribute the heat generated by the rocket quickly to prevent the steel from melting. In addition, the ablative on top of the steel plate will be painted to keep, and of course, the system will supply an enormous amount of water to cushion the effect of the heat produced by the rocket in real time. However, in all of this, we must also consider the incredible amount of shock waves that would be generated during the process. During a typical rocket launch, the ignition creates a huge buildup of pressure that bounces off the pad before spreading out in different directions around the rocket. Also, the thundering acoustic noise produced by the rocket creates a turbulent sensation around the rocket. Currently, we cannot say categorically that there's an efficient acoustic noise management system in place for rockets. At least not yet. But we expect in the coming years, we'll see a breakthrough in that aspect even as scientists continue to work around the clock to fix issues like the payload margin and other permanent issues associated with rocket and human space travel in general. As one of the pioneers of the industry, SpaceX is one of the companies that's expected to drive this growth. But for now, the company will focus on its Mega Steel Water Deluge system. Earlier this year, on July 28th, SpaceX conducted a full pressure test of the system. Following the test, Elon Musk uploaded a 23 second video showing the system in action with the caption, New Water Deluge System to Protect Against the Immersed Heat and Force of the Starship Launch. The exact amount of water discharge was not revealed, but experts believe at full capacity, the water deluge system will spray at least 1.3 million liters of water during each launch.